check that out. Right, welcome back everyone. We are back out. I'm Tezza. Yeah, I'm... You're Tezza. Yeah. <laughs> Almost thought... forgot his name yeah. for a second there. Uh... Right, we're back out today, guys. Now, as you know, we've been on this land for a few hunts now. Yeah. We've had some nice little bits. You had your little... Really uh, nice, yeah. He had his quarter nice... little hammered. He had his quarter little hammered the other day. Um, I've had a nice uh, full hammered coin. Oh, we nice also had that nice thing. trials as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> silver thimble. Uh, now, in this video, guys, what we're going to be doing is I was out with my boy the other day, my other one, not Tezza, and I'll tell you what, I had some absolute stunning finds. So we're gonna be basically putting the two videos together. Yep. One where we're out today with Tezza, and one where I was at the other day. So stay tuned, because I'll tell you what, there's some absolute stunning finds coming up. So we're gonna get on, should we get on? Yeah, yeah As, come Before on. we get on though, we're both using the Apex. Uh, today yeah. we're both gonna be running it in coin mode. We're gonna be adding yeah. adding it on to 25. Tezza's gonna be running the uh, Raider coil. Yeah. I'm going to be running the Reaper coil. Oh. I reckon I'm going to beat you. No, no, don't answer. Don't right, answer. well, let's get on. Right, well, we're going to get on and we'll see it the first. Right, Te Tez is on to his first tone. Sounds... It's quite a solid tone. What's it ringing up at? 40. It's ringing up in the 40s. You're going to give us a smile or what? Now, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna say anything here. I'm just gonna go over, and I'm gonna let Tezza explain. Um, right now. I think I just found something. I think, I think I've found something. I think I've seen it. <laughs> oh my god! It's silver. Well, let's have a look. It's silver. Is it? It's let me have a little wipe it's and silver. have a look. It's let's silver. have a look. It's Come silver. here, then. I need to get you in the silver. camera. It's silver. It's silver. Let's have a look. It's silver. He has got. Watch out the way the sun. Then, then I'll have a look for look for you. He has got. No way. Uh, it's got it's got a little break in it, but he has care. got a full full hammered full. coin there. Oh, and it's another Mate. it's another long cross, a short cross. Mate. Do you want to give that a little wipe then? Yes. Keep it in the camera so we can see it. Give it a good little wipe. Go on. <laughs> He's over the oh moon. Every time I bring him out, now you're going to see some of the finds that I had the other day. And no, this, it don't matter, it's don't fine. matter, yeah, it's, no. it's fine, look yeah. at that, oh uh, look at that, yes. I'll tell you what, I think we are, uh, you hold that for a second Sorry. while I just talk to everyone, right, what I'm thinking is maybe there might have been some sort of marketplace or something like that here, what makes me say that is, in this video, you're going to see, well we're going to stop for five, yeah. and I'm going to show you just a little video of what I just found. had to stop there, because he, uh, Drop me microphone. So yeah, as I was saying, he uh, no. tells fine today and the finds that I had were absolutely amazing. So we're gonna stop for five. Give us a thumbs up. First ever, whole hammered. Whole hammered, not even got a cut in it. Mm. He's, over, <laughs> he's over the yeah. moon. So what we're gonna do then, he's made a run for it. No. We're gonna carry on, stop for five, let you watch the video of what I found the other day and we will see you after lunch. Big thumbs up. <laughs> See you at the next. Screaming tone it was. I think I did see it, yeah, just down there. Tiny little bit of anti-aircraft shrapnel. That's what that is. Do you know what? In World War Two. Basically, the uh, anti-aircraft shells killed more people, civilians, than they actually did knocking out the old planes out of the sky. Hey, so you're going to find a hell of a lot of these 
Right, let's carry on. Right, on to another town. Basically, solid 50, I'd say. It's got a bit of a back tone to it, but it's got quite a nice tone there. All right, let's stick it out. As you see there, that one was slightly jumping about a little bit. And I'll tell you what, check this little bad boy out. Can you see it? Got a tiny little cut half hammered coin, I think that could be. Yep, let me give me let me give that a turn over. Quite it's really tarnished though. No, that is black as anything. Let me give that a quick rub on the lucky trousers. Yeah, I don't think there's much detail on this one. It's really uh really is tarnished that one. We might be able to give it a little clean up when we get back. Tell you what, that is a stunning little find. We'll give it a little clean up, put a few steels up, but I'll tell you what, that is absolutely stunning. Now there's absolutely, there is some nice stuff coming up off this field now. Now Ted's had that quarter cut uh, the other week and uh, he was gonna come out today, but he's gone to watch the United game. And there you go, tiny little quarter hammered coin. Absolutely stunning. Let's carry on, and I'll see you at the next. I forgot to run you down in the mode I'm running in today. As you can see there, I'm running it in uh, coin mode. I've added on an extra three, because usually coin mode's 40 and above. So I've added a few back on, notched off the 99 tone. Multi-frequency mode, sensitivity two from top, iron volume on zero, ground balancing every half an hour. This one was a solid 50. When I first turned it over, I thought, oh, it's going to be a silver. And then, boom, I felt the shank on the back. And there you have it, a massive button. Hey, I don't mind finding buttons. It means there was occupation about here. So, and uh, I'll tell you what, we've had a few nice little uh, silver finds off here so far. So, hey, let's carry on. Let me know to calm down a little bit. Look at this. Oh. This one was reading up at a 63, 64, and it's a full one. Oh, it's a full hammered. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, get in. Get in, look at that. It's a full, it's, oh, mate. Oh, stop walking a minute, Jesus. Oh, look at that. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking for a minute. Oh, look at that, that is absolutely stunning. I'll tell you what. I can't wait to show my farmer that. He's going to like that. He's going to like that a lot. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a full one. I found loads of quarters. I found that quarter today. Tell found that quarter the other day. And I think that could be... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say what I think it oh, could be. Sorry about that. I dropped the phone and everything went a bit uh, sort of a wall there. But there you have it. My first ever full... Hammered, what would have been a cut hammered coin, but a full one. Look at that. Oh, I'm well over the moon with that. That is absolutely stunning. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I'm absolutely over the moon. Oh, my farmer, my, my farmer, I like that. And of course, I will show my farmer all the things that I find. And if he wants any of the bits that I find, he can have any of them that he likes. Because at the end of the day, what an absolute leg legend he is for letting me metal detect this field. And all finds I will show him. That's a, a full one today and a cut quarter. And uh, I'm over the moon. Oh. Right, let's get a few steals of that. And I'll see you at the next. We've had some nice stuff off this field. I mean, we've had quite a bit of uh, junk here and there, but you get that on a lot of fields. Now, as you go down to the bottom, it gets really, really quiet down there. Yeah, there's not much going on. That's where the uh, 
kind of like little river kind of ditches down the bottom but as you start to come up up here you're starting to get a few fines especially in between the, the uh, electrical pylons they're not causing any problems with the apex if you do get a little bit of chatter from them from them just change the channel but yeah all right there you go that's what that was uh -huh. that's what i mean i think when the hammered coins they're so tiny like this that's why the hammered coins give off the same sort of tone especially the tiny little quarter parts but that that's another little uh i think a little lead kids toy probably looks like part of a little kids cannon all right lovely let's carry on Ooh. just another bit of bomb shrapnel quite a high up this one was yeah, you got quite a bit of this today. Gives off a lovely tone though. Wipe it on my trousers. Take my glove off every time for some reason, don't ask why. But I can't feel three of my fingers, so it's hard to pick things up. And when you've got gloves on, there's no chance. So there you have it. Another bit of uh, anti-aircraft shrapnel. Trousers is getting a, a few decent signals down here. What's that one reading? 50s. It's going oh, it's, all over the place. I can't really see. It's jumping slightly, but that is really that is quite deep. That is. It's got a really nice tone yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Alright, so let's dig that out then. See what it is. It's dug it out and it's in a coin ball. So yeah. Tez is going to open it because oh, I want to share What's with this? you guys what it is. Oh, oh no, that's a stone. Going. Oh, it's getting, getting smaller. smaller. <laughs> it's getting smaller. Oh, it's getting smaller. Don't get too okay. excited yet. Oh, it's in the other hand. What you got? What's this? Lead. Nah. Uh, it's it doesn't Piece matter. of lead. Piece of lead. That's right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. A signal's a signal. And you've had that hammered coin. Yeah. Oh, I'm um, So he's, <laughs> he's had an absolute <laughs> wicked day so far. Hey. Basically, I'm just helping Tezza out today. Yeah. Um, I'm doing a few tiny little holes, but after the day I had the other day, today, it's just getting out with him yeah. and helping him out and enjoying it. Yeah. We're going to carry on. Hey, hey, I'm already enjoying it. <laughs> and we'll see you. At the next. Well, that's what it was. My first target. Piece of lead. But yeah, my day today is just uh, helping Tezza out. As you can see, I, try, I can't really turn my neck round because I've got some sort of nerve damage in my neck. Left hand. <laughs> it started spreading it to my right side. So, struggling lately. But, I will get better. So, we're going to pop over and see what he's got. That was my last target. A bit of lead of Rooney. Yeah, I can hear that from over there. Sounds absolutely stunning. That's going to be in the 50s, 53. What's that reading up at? 50s. Ah, so if we're in the 50s. One deep, one depth. One depth. So it's not really that deep. Right, let's dig that out. Okay. Says it's in that pile, says he's got right. it out. Okay. So. I'll hold the pinpoint for you. Break it in half if you want. Yeah. Uh, he likes using the metal detector as a uh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Is that it? What's that? Size of that? What is that? Oh, oh, look at that. Draw handle. Draw handle. Oh yes, look at that. That's a that's a nice little draw handle. Sure, that's a draw I, handle. I don't know. Yeah, it's draw handle. You can tell. It's got that. That's got that the little latch. Signal, like really good signal. That, yeah, they will. I think yeah. that's brass. See the little latch on the end there, this yeah. end, and you'd have one on the other end, and it. Yes. Yeah, just snap. like a little drawer, so you can. Open your drawers. Yeah. Lovely little tone though. Right, let's yeah. carry on. Right, we're on to a, uh, it's kind of like a bit of a dull one, I would say. The bigger coil has worked absolutely brilliant. When you get into the treasure areas, it's a little bit harder to use, but I'm in the uh, wide open middle of the field, so doing really well so far. I'm not gonna complain, absolute brilliant coil. Oh, everything's getting stuck to it now. Corn's a little bit long. As you see there, it's a bit of a jumpy one. We're going to dig it out. See what it is. I hope my mic's working perfect. I have found it popped out a few times. There you see, it was quite high numbers. 48, back down into the 50s. I mean, back up into the 50s and back down into the 40s. Jumping slightly, bigger coil. Slight bigger hole, but we'll get used to it. All right, let's carry on. All right, Tez is on to a lovely tone. I can hear that from here. What's that? In the 60s. Oh, it's in the 60s. 
That's a Rob Random signal. Right, dig it out. <laughs> right, let's go and help him. And uh, let's go and see what he's found. What you got then? What was it? A little bit of leather rooney. Got a bit of leather rooney? Yeah, we can melt that, you know. Yeah, we'll melt that, make some ingots. Yeah. Right. Hey. Let's carry on then. I'll see you out next. Well, on to a nice tone here. 55, 56. Change a little bit as you go around the hole. And what I do is I go right over the target and then I like to come back. Sometimes I use the front of the coil, sometimes I use the back. Oh, just disconnected my headset. So you can hear the tone. There you have it. All right, let's dig it out. Tez has come over because he wanted to get a drink. A little bit of lead. That's what my target was. Bit of a lead a Rooney. Mate, you're not, you said you were going to beat me, right? Yeah, all right. We'll yeah. talk about that in the end. Yeah, we'll <laughs> right, Tez is, uh, me and Tez are just going to be walking back down the bottom of this hill, as I say, because all the coins seem to be coming down from the bottom, so we're going to carry on down that bit. Yeah. All right, let's carry on. I'll keep you in the, uh, keep you in the sun so you can see. This one's solid 50, just a button. Don't mind finding the old buttons, you know. Hey. Tez is doing really, really well today. He always gets a lot of luck when he's out. When I'm out of him, he gets, seems to get a really, really lot of luck. But my day's not over yet, so let's carry on. All right. Tez has come over. Yeah. He wanted to make sure I ain't got a hammered coin. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to. He don't want to lose today. He don't want to lose today. Well, because the bits in the video that I showed earlier were bits I found the other day when I was with my other boys. So they don't really count, but I had to show you them because uh, I didn't really make much of a video because I was only out for about an hour. But that's what that was—just a bit of little Rooney. Wait, let's carry on. Right, Tez has called me back over. God, what an absolute warm day it is. What? Right, what are you reading up there? 40s. Sounds like it's just sounds like a tone of a 40 tone that. Yeah, 40s jumping into the 50s. Right. Let's dig it out. We've got it out and he's pointing it down to there. So it's somewhere in there. We have got gloves, but he doesn't want to put them on. And uh It's a bit wet for you, isn't it that? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we know it's in there, it's shortening right. it down. Oh, it's in there. I can't. I can't <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. Up. I'll get it for yeah. you. What you got? What's that? Is that a coin? Uh, I don't know. It looks like a bit of lead Rooney. Lead. Lead Rooney. I don't care. <laughs> He's a, a pony. <laughs> go and put the gloves on. Yeah, mate. He's going to have to go and put these gloves on because, I mean, it don't matter to me, but if he does get a can, then you can cut your fingers. But that could be a medieval lead token. That's just been. It's perfectly round. Can't really see anything on it. But. Not a bad tone. Right there's Tezza. My boy's gonna go and help him uh, dig that out. He just don't like being on camera. This was our last target. This was a dull 33, 34. Sounded a little bit like iron ore, but it was, it was fairly deep that. I mean, probably on the, uh, the max. That's what it was. All right, let's go find out what Tezza's got. Tezza's just had this one up. Now, I know what this is. 1935, it said. I think, I think that's like a... Uh, I don't know what that some is. Sort of, I think that's for like a bag seal of some kind. What they'd have used as time got on. They used to use lead bag seals, but... Oh, I what, think so this was some sort of... Yeah, I think it was because there's a clip on the end right there. Probably just tied it around the barrel, the, the bay harrow, or whatever it was. and Yeah, that was the number to it. Cool. All right, we'll give it a little clean up though, put a few steels up. All right, let's carry on. All right, this is probably going to be our last target of the day. We'll do a little outro at the very end. Uh, as I say, it was two days. One day I was with my other boy and today I was with Tezza and Tezza's absolutely uh, smashed it again. So he's, he's relaxing. Well, he's walking down. He's coming to see what I've found. Yeah, he's like a magpie. All right, this was my last target. This was a 73-74, uh, I think it's some sort of buckle of some kind. Mm, horses 
part of a horse's uh, bridle part maybe. But that's what the last target was. Right. See you at the next. Right guys, now that's the end of our hunt. Yeah. Um, what an absolute day it's been. I've had a few little tiny bits. Yeah. Uh, my last trip, as you see in the video, I had some absolute stunners, but today... I won the challenge, mate. We won't. All right. Uh, I'll let you finish the intro then. See you in a bit. Right, well, guys, I'll see you in a bit, and I'll see you at the next.